and welcome to the Back Cow Lounge. I'm Tanya Solomon and I'm joined today by Oz Timmerman, EVP Marketing and Business Development at Terragon. Hello. Hi. And today we're going to discuss the role wireless backhaul is set to play in the transition to uh, 5G. Welcome, Oz. Thank you. Welcome. So the recent GSMA report titled Wireless Backhaul Evolution, Delivering Next Generation Connectivity, they say the transition to 5G will need a sizable backhaul evolution to accommodate growing traffic and new network capabilities, and that despite the growing importance of fiber, wireless backhaul is set to play a central role in these developments. Oz, can you elaborate on why that is? Actually, GSMA's uh, analysis is very much in line with Ceragon's analysis. Uh, today we have around 400 million subscribers of 5G, right, in 2021, first quarter. We expect to have 10 times more uh, mobile subscribers by 2027, so within five to six years, which means 4 billion subscribers of 5G. Now, what does it mean? It means that the networks exponentially have more, more, more traffic, okay? Now, more traffic, what does it mean? It means that in order to support this traffic, the mobile networks will have to go through significant densification. And for densification, you need a leapfrog for the backhaul. Now, a leapfrog for the backhaul could be fiber and could be wireless backhaul. Fiber is a great way to connect, however, it's not accessible and not affordable in many of the sites. And if you want to, to do it very quickly... Wireless is the way to go. Wireless is the only way to go. As the report also says that higher capacity backhaul bands will be vital to meeting 5G traffic demands. What does that mean? And, and can you share some of the solutions and developments that Saragon is working on to address Sure, this? sure. So current backhaul bands uh, will still play an important part in the network, uh, but in the 5G era, in order for them to be relevant, they need much wider bands. Wider bands, Sergon today already offer with the IP50 224 megahertz channels with the existing bands. So that's the first step. Now, new backhaul bands are needed to support the evolving network requirement and the growing traffic. And with the W band and D band that are around the corner, we'll be able to offer to support channels size of two gigahertz. And we are, we Saragon are already in a very advanced stages of developing our W band, D band solutions based on our own system on the chip, the Neptune, which is the digital part, as well as developing the RF chips to support the new bands. Now, Beyond the, the what we call traditional 5G, there is also the new uh, trend of uh, open run, which is disaggregating the uh, network in the 5G era. Now, this is a new architecture which many service providers are approaching and are committed to it. And with our, with Sergon's disaggregated wireless hauling, we fit exactly to the same concept of separating hardware from the software. This is also opening up a new domain for Saragon, which is the front hall. Today we already offer 20 gigabit per second with our existing uh, offering with eCPRI, but with the new uh, development of based on Neptune, we will be able to offer up to 100 gigabit per second uh, in the front hall. Wow. Well, that's a lot of, that's, that's great news from Saragon. And uh, I want to thank you for sharing that information with us. Thank you for My tuning pleasure. in to the, uh, to the Backhaul Lounge. Uh, we invite you, if you'd like to learn more, to visit us on uh, saragon.com. Follow us on LinkedIn or subscribe to our blog. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.